guys, it's Justin, and on today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some wonderful fashions from Dolls of Eve Point. So, one of the things that many of us experience when trying to share clothing amongst different brands, different doll sizes, is that the fit is not always great. For example, I love these overalls by Barbie for Ken. It was actually on a Street Orchard form Ken doll. They look great. The fit is pretty much even all the way around. The straps may be a little bit tight, but the main issue is that, of course, Integrity dolls are much larger. So this doll floods when he wears it. So what we're gonna do, we are going to see a solution that Miss Jackie from Dolls Viewpoint provided us, which are these wonderful denim overalls. And as you see, they are well crafted. But I want you to see the detailing. She did detailing like for real Levi's with that signature gold stitching. Then we have the buttons. Even though they're not functional, they work and look beautifully with this outfit. The pockets are functional in the back and they also have some etching on it as well. And let's try the fit. So again, this is the first look. Now let's see Tobias with these. Alrighty, so here's look one. This is Tobias in his outfit. And guess what, guys? No more flooding. There's no gaps in the back. They are nice and fitted, but still being loose enough to be comfortable. So Miss Jackie did a wonderful, excellent job in creating this look. But you know me, can this fit on other dolls? So let's try. So this is a regular size kid. This is a pivotal body, regular articulated kid. And they're about the same size as the Made to Move. Actually, Made to Move was like a little bit shorter. Um, but as far as the dimensions of the body and the width and height of the shoulders and the hips and all of that, they are pretty much the same size. The Made to Move just has like a little bit of a buffer arm, but we're not worried about that portion for these overalls because there's just armholes, so that part doesn't matter. So this will still give us a universal fit of how it will look on a Ken doll. It looks just as great as it did on our Integrity doll. And again, no flooding and with shoes it'll push up that little extra gap there it looks great on him but I'm not gonna stop there so oh and I forgot there is a snap on the back will this fit on an Adonis doll so we have our model so, the fit looks wonderful on him as well. Keep in mind, this was specifically designed for an integrity doll. It was not made for a smaller or larger doll. So, if you see slight gapping or stretching, just know it wasn't designed for this doll. I'm just trying it on him. But, he fits it pretty well. The straps are really... Pretty much at its max. So, that's that. There's a little bunching here in the middle. But again, 
This was not designed for an integrity, uh, an Adonis doll, which is way wider, way muscular and beefier than an integrity doll, which are very, very slim dolls. But it still looks great to me. So great job, Miss Jackie. So there was another um, outfit. I love these mud prints, wax um, African uh, fabrics. I call it little wax fabrics because it's like they usually have like the wax coating on it. But this is like what do we call a more traditional mud print, which is the um, African characters and designs that are mud printed on them. And I really, really enjoy that. So, of course, you all already know. We gotta try this on Brother Man first. So here we go. Fit perfectly. And then I'm gonna take his hands off so that I can put his outer garment on. And these, you basically just step into them with the snap at the top. So we're just going to step him into them, put his arm through, put the other arm through, okay, just like that, it's so easy, and I'm going to put his hands back on so that we can see the completed look. Okay, so this is one part of the look with the pants and the top. Looks great on him. But then there's also a little belted part. I think this may be a headdress. I can't remember. So I have to look it up and I did confirm it is a headdress. This is taken from her website, and you can see it is a headdress. I just wanted to be sure, because I don't want to misrepresent the doll. But this is the beautiful headdress. And personally, I will probably put that on one of my female figures. Um, and so I'll actually put this aside for the next part of the review. But overall, this is an amazing outfit, and I love it. And it is definitely going to be used in my photo stories. Okay, guys. So the next part of the video is going to be review of this beautiful purple suit. It comes in a few different colors, but I chose purple. And it is great quality as well. It has a snap on the back of the skirt. And the front Velcro's. And it has faux buttons. And I wanted to show you how it fits on a variety of body styles. So it was intended for curvy body. So let's first try it on her. And let's see what it looks like on her. So this literally fits like a beautiful glove on her. Perfectly on the waist. Because again, remember, this was designed for this particular body. So, that's that. Let me get her dressed. So, we have our sophisticated lady suit. This is to me kind of like a vintage throwback of how the 50 suits look. I really, really love this style. Fits perfectly, hits right at the knee. So again, design for Kirby Barbie. Looks great on Kirby Barbie. But will this look great on other body styles? So let's try it on another doll that is meant to be Kirby. 
which is a fresh doll. So we have our beautiful Jacqueline here. So we can do a size comparison. And it looks just as great on the fresh doll body as well. This actually kind of looks like a business suit Dr. Lisa would wear. She's very proper. And last but not least, we're going to try her on a Meteor Integrity doll. As you know, the Meteor dolls, they have bigger um, rear ends, bigger chest. Though the overall body is not curvy, as far as larger waist, larger legs, they do have curvy features. So, just good to see size comparison. And it looks amazing on our Meteor doll as well. Now, I know before when we were doing the African wax print, mud print, um, review, we had this head wrap, but I'm going to put it on Miss Zuri, who has all this beautiful hair, and I think it's going to look even better on her, and I am right. So that's our little head wrap on her, and that is our final doll in our review. So again, thank you, Miss Jackie. I love, I love your fashions. Thank you for particularly the overalls because that was a special gift from me. Hopefully she'll add that into her um, shop on Etsy, which is Dolls Viewpoint on Etsy. Also Dolls Viewpoint on Instagram. And she also has an official Facebook page, Dolls Viewpoint as well. So please check her out. Um, she's always updating her stock with new items, new fashions, new styles. And she has so many body styles available. So if you'll notice on her site, she'll usually show you if the style is only made in one style. So if it's only made for one doll, it'll say that. But usually if you open up the sizes, she'll have Barbie Ken, Integrity, um... World Box, Action Figure Body, Male and Female, a whole list of dolls. So she makes them tailored to different body styles. So be sure to check out more fashions from Dolls Viewpoint. Thanks, guys. See you next time.